It witnessed a boom after World War II and a lull in the 1990s, but Douglas County's timber industry has never seen anything like the Great Recession. People call it the Great Recession, and for this, this industry, it's the Great Depression. Alan Ford's family started Roseburg Forest Products 75 years ago. He wasn't there when the company launched, but he's been around long enough to have seen the market highs and lows. So over a typical cycle for the last 50 years, it's been at most two years long in what we call the trough. This time, we're five years going on six. Tough times make for tough decisions, like layoffs and production cutbacks. But they're also a chance for a community to see how invested companies like RFP are. And these family-held companies, they have a, uh, a tendency to run through thick and thin. We believe very much in our community, uh, serving our people here. We want them to do very well. Nordic Veneer is family-owned too, passed down from father to son. Of the 55 people in the plant, 80% uh, of them have been here 20 to 25 years. Got some 40-year guys. That's why owner Art Adams says he tried to avoid layoffs at all costs. But he can't do that without a cost. Less demand means less production and fewer hours. So paychecks are smaller. At the end of the day, your name is about what you have. And so uh, the relationships you build there are important because this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Lucky for him and the rest of the industry, the marathon course is finally leveling out. It's not as steep as it was even a few months ago. Things are finally starting to turn around. The housing market nationally is slowly healing. And we would expect in a couple of years to see some more demand for wood products uh, from uh, domestic housing. No one expects things to bounce back to pre-housing collapse numbers, but slowly, the industry will rebuild. So when this market comes back, and it will come back, we are going to be in a very strong position. I like to tell the, our folks that, you know, really I think our best days are still ahead of us. And I really believe that, and, and hopefully as uh, things evolve, that's going to happen.